so let us look at first thing which we need to do before starting our layout for pipe rack first thing is interconnecting diagram now let us understand what is uh, interconnecting diagram basic line diagram showing all the lines entering and leaving a plant which are to be routed on pipe rack along with the interconnections with all the units equipment on the plot plan okay so we need to have a plan what are the basic equipments are there and how many lines are going and how many lines are entering into pipe rack and how many lines are uh, coming out from the pipe rack so uh, that means we should have a uh, plan with us where all the lines entering and exiting in the pipe rack that means whatever lines are running inside the pipe rack that we identify at this stage so what is the purpose of interconnecting diagram it gives the modeler an idea of all the lines coming on rack for planning okay once we have this kind of diagram with us we, we can plan anything like how many lines are there okay how many people will be required to route these lines and all that stuff we can plan based on this diagram line routing on for rack size calculation once we know okay 100 lines are there then we can plan our rack accordingly okay assists in material takeoff we can always uh, take on take preliminary material based on this diagram okay because we know what is the length required for uh, routing the line through pipe rack and when it is connecting to two equipments so that way we will be having an overall picture with us and we can generate MTO from this document. Pipe rack loading calculation. Now we know what is the size, what is the length, how many fittings are there in pipe rack. We can always start working on loading diagram. Okay, assists in piping flexibility studies. Okay, stress team use this diagram, uh, diagram to finalize their anchor location and loop locations. Vessel orientation. Now, as we have discussed in column section if we are planning a vessel here we can plan ki, okay these nozzles should be towards rack so it this diagram helps in nozzle orientation also vessel orientations <coughs> vessel orientation as well as nozzle orientation location of sub pipe rack now suppose in particular section we see there are so many lines which are entering into pipe rack and we can group together and we can have a sub rack uh, based on that okay so this diagram helps in locating the sub racks also Equipment location, we can always fix equipment location because through this diagram we can uh, understand the flow also how many lines are entering from this side, entering towards this side and exiting from the pipe rack. So based on that we can plan our equipment locations. Economics of unit and overall plot space. Now we know how many lines are there, how many equipment will be connected and what will be the sequence. It is single page. Okay, so we can always uh, do our overall uh, planning for the overall space requirements so this is all about interconnecting diagram and why it is required and how it helps in further layout developments so this is a list of fundas which we have already covered under a two minute funda series where we are trying to cover the topic within two minutes in few cases it is exceeding more than two minutes but we are trying our best to cover it within two minutes okay we are we have recently started this series under the same uh, oil and gas funda knowledge sharing platform Earlier we had covered uh, our 14 topics along with 62 videos. Okay, now we have covered, uh, we have started this series 2 minute panda and we have added more than 100 videos here. So into all together we have uh, more than 200 videos now. I'm sure you are watching it under standard and HD format along with the subtitles. Many more are on the way. So stay tuned. I'm sure you are enjoying the videos. So see you in the next part.